Today, I'm going to show you how to make this really cool card flip transition. So here are the two clips and I've already marked it out right here is when I'm going to start the transition, but we need to get a few things before we start to make this. The first thing I need is a still of the very first frame on the second clip. To do that, I'm going to go into fusion, right click, save image. Now, because we are using this frame, I actually don't want this frame. I'm going to start on the next frame for this clip. So I'm just going to delete that. Hey! There we go. And then ripple delete. The next thing you need is a background. I have that right here. And now we can make a cut where we're going to start this transition. So hit B on your keyboard for blade and just cut this thing up. So let's start off by layering our timeline. I'm going to move this track up one and place the background image below. Oh my goodness. That is a lot. And then I'm going to drop in the picture uh, above everything. And I'm also going to duplicate it. So I'm going to hold left alt, left click, drag it into video track number four. So this is what your timeline should look like. Duplicate of your pictures, the video, and then the background. Highlight everything, right click, new fusion clip, head on over into fusion. I'm going to start off by just rearranging these i don't like the way that davinci resolve sets this up it's a little confusing in my opinion now to stay organized what i'm going to do is relabel all these media nodes if i hit one on my keyboard bring it into this window that's my background so i'm going to hit f2 and type in background media in two that should be the video so guess what we're labeling this video media in three and four should be the still image so i'm going to relabel the first one still and the second one gun all right let's start off by making the card flip because that's really easy to do after video what we're going to do is hit shift space to bring up the select tool page and type in dve now this is a really cool node because it's sort of like a transform node except we can rotate the images whoop there we go um, in really unique ways. So I'm going to add a keyframe at the very beginning of my video for a center move and Y at the very end of my video, I'm going to add keyframes yet again. And for the Y I'm going to make this value 180. So the image is background backwards. And that means if we play this back, whoop, ba, ba, ba. you see, it spins around except that's not good enough because it just spins around so somewhere in the middle of your video you're going to adjust your z bring it back and we're also going to push it up watching this back we should have a cool little card flip <laughs> yeah now the only problem is that we're just seeing the backwards image of our video so what we need to do is bring in our still take the merge by holding left shift left click and then dropping it right after the video and connect the still to that merge in the merge node bring your blend all the way down to zero and find where this flips right there at frame 10 i'm going to add a keyframe for blend and then at frame 11 i'm going to bring it up to one now watch this hey except it's backwards so we have to fix that luckily it's really easy to do in that merge there is a flip bam let's also add that um uh outline effect thingy my bob so i'm gonna put a little space right here i'm gonna open up the effects go to templates fusion tools Drop in an edge control. Connect the DVE to the gold arrow of the edge, alpha edge, whatever. I don't know why it changes its name. We're going to add a uh, fast noise right after to give it some variation. And let's bring this into the first viewer window by hitting one on your keyboard. And you can't really see anything. Well, that's because the blur size or the, the edge, it's too small. So we just got to bump this up. Let's also animate this by bringing up the seethe rate. You can adjust all these settings to get the correct amount of light flicker that you want. I'm just going to leave it right here for now. After the fast noise, we're going to add a soft glow, a uh, soft glow. And then right after that, we're dropping in a color corrector to change, well, the color of everything by using this wheel. The last thing we need to do is tie it back into this node tree. So we're going to drop in a merge and then connect a color corrector to the green arrow if we hit one on our keyboard bam hey would you look at that this is starting to come together the last thing we need to do is animate the gun to come in to do that we have to make a mask around the gun so drop in a polygon node connect that to the blue arrow and then um turn it off 
Now we can zoom in here. Really take your time here because the better the mask, the better this is going to look. Now that we have this masked out, all we have to do is turn the polygon node back on. Yeah, look at that. Okay, so now we have to animate the gun so it slides in. To do that, we're gonna drop in a transform node. At the very end of the video, we're gonna add a center keyframe. And at the beginning of the video, we're gonna make this value negative 0.5. So uh, there it is. It's exactly one canvas width over. Watching this back, look at this. Don't worry, we'll fix the linearness of that later. The next thing we have to do is get all those duplicated versions of the gun that are all colorful and stuff. So drop in a background node and change the color to just something random. Make a space here and connect the transform to the blue arrow of the background node. Now, after the background node, we're gonna add a duplicate node. If I hit two on my keyboard, we can see we have this perfect outline of the gun and it's a solid color. Now in the duplicate node, guess what? We can generate as many copies as we want, but these copies, um, they're all the same color. So we need to fix that. If we go to jitter, we can change the gain and that's going to give us different colors, but it's not giving the exact colors I want. So in the background node, I'm going to click color and then just switch it around to find something that I sort of like. Now in the duplicate node, we have to do some keyframing. So in the center, what we're going to do is add a keyframe at the end of the video. And then at the beginning of the video, we're just gonna stretch this out to something crazy like that. So watching this back, okay. But you'll notice that the guns are sitting on top of each other. To fix that, we're just gonna check merge under bam if you don't like the color scheme all you have to do is go to jitter and just click reseed or go into the background node and change the color there same thing though we have to tie it into the main pipeline so drop in a merge connect the duplicate to the green arrow hit what i connected it to the wrong arrow swap these arrows around there we go now let's see what this all looks like so media out one i'm gonna select that hit two on my keyboard and we should have something like this it's all right, but it's looking a little linear. So let's fix that. Open up the spline tab and it's how you mess with all the graphs. So I'm gonna click the three dots here and check show only selected tool. This way it's not so confusing. I'm gonna start off with the first transform. Check that, zoom to fit. All I'm gonna do is stretch this out like so. Okay, gonna go into the duplicate node, do the same thing, zoom to fit, make it a similar graph. We can even do the same thing with the DVE to make the flip a little bit smoother. However, what I'm going to do is highlight just the first two keyframes and hit F on my keyboard to flatten the curve. And now it just hangs out there for a second longer. The last thing we have to do is add a little impact when the frame lands. So to do that, put a little space here, go into effects, drop in an adjustment clip, go to filters and scroll down until I find camera shake, drop that in, go to my inspector effects and just kind of mess with these settings. I personally think a little bit more pan looks better and I'm going to change the zoom to zero and the border type to replicate. I'm also going to add some motion blur and we just have to keyframe this out. So add a motion keyframe and then go a couple frames over, bring it down to zero. And there you go. That's how to make this really cool card flip transition. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below or join the discord and either myself or one of the members can help you. Anyways, I gotta go, goodbye.